Welcome to AASA's Learning 2025 Video Spotlight, a series dedicated to school districts across the country working to advance student-centered, equity-focused, and future-driven education. Districts profiled are all serving as national models of the Learning 2025 Network to help guide and reposition other school systems by sharing best practices and winning strategies as well as challenges. In this episode, we'll spotlight the Baldwin Union Free School District in Baldwin, New York. A community of 4,500 students, the district's graduation rate is currently 98%. The school system has received recognition for its innovative and rigorous academic programs, numerous partnerships, and redesigned classrooms and prides itself on helping students become college, career, and life ready. Let's take a look. Our school district, the Baldwin School District, is located on the South Shore of Long Island um, in New York. We are a middle-class community, uh, suburban community, where uh, we are really proud of the diversity of our community. And we are very much representative of uh, the demographics of our country. Baldwin has been working on reimagining our school system um, for at least the last eight years. And what do I mean by that? Um, our school system is a great school system, but when you look at students in 2021, 2022, 2025, um, you have to recognize that the world is a very different place than it was in 1965 or 1985 or 2005. And so it is, I think, incumbent upon us to reinvent, transform, use whatever verb you want to use, uh, to really think about the experiences that our students partake in on a daily basis, 180, 184 days out of the school year, and make it applicable to the jobs and the work and the careers and the life that they will have um, in the future. So as we embark on this, on this work, this really important work, uh, we really talked about uh, making sure that we had a network of other school communities across the country that were doing similar work. Um, we really felt like it was important to be in a room with um, innovative people, with interesting ideas uh, that could support one another and to really think out loud about what is possible for public school systems going forward. So for us, Learning 2025 really represented a next step. It was an opportunity to engage with other school systems and have what is probably a huge brainstorming session um, to really talk about the possibilities. I would say uh, for us, Learning 2025, or in general, Learning 2025 is um, has put together um, first uh, groups of interested educators who want to do this work. And I think that's key, right? Where nobody's pulling anybody along. These are the, people are there on their own free will. And, and I would say probably some of the more innovative thinking school districts in the country. So um, that's number one, right? When you're in the field of technology, you put together the most innovative not minds and technology and you come up with the most innovative ideas and so learning 2025 for me represents some of the most innovative minds in the field of education second i would say that aasa has done a really excellent job in identifying uh, people that can help lead the leaders through this right uh, i don't know a leader that would not say I can do this on my own, but I can do it even better if I have even smarter people, even more innovative people in the room with me. And so I think AASA has done a really good job through Learning 2025 at um, getting the best people in the room and getting really outstanding people um, like Bill Daggett and Ray McNulty to help lead the way forward. We really think about learning as doing. Um, it sounds so simple. Um, but it really is about doing and the thinking that's behind that doing. So um, I would say, for example, some of our successes 
Um, at the elementary level, for example, we have re rewritten our entire science curriculum um, and the people who wrote it were scientists. Um, at the middle school, we have um, pre-academies and we also have something called Better World Day. Um, Better World Day in part is inspired by um, what does it mean to live in a better world? And as students, what can we identify as factors um, needed for a better world? And how can we be activists in that? Um, I would say, for example, Learning, 2020, learning 2025 is really um, advocating for this idea of students as um, advocates. And so um, that is definitely a direct correlation. And at our high school, it really, um, I would say our signature program are, is our academy program. And um, through Learning 2025, we have really helped to um, identify um, different futures of work um, with our, our work with Ray McNulty and um, connect with a lot of those um, a lot of those industries so in terms of success we have young people that graduate our high school and they know not only what they want to be and what they want to do when they graduate but they also know what they don't want to do when they graduate uh, and not only is that um, helpful and healthy for a 12th grader uh, it costs their parents a lot less money <laughs> which is always a good thing Interested in becoming part of AASA's Learning 2025 network? Contact Mort Sherman, AASA Associate Executive Director, or access the AASA website. We're looking for bold ideas to shape and prepare students for a better future. Thank you for watching.